you are defined by the spirit of God that rests in your spirit. Praise be the name of the almighty God. Oftentimes, uh, there is a gap between how God sees us, uh, how we see ourselves, uh, praise God, or, uh, or how, you know, or how we actually think about, you know, who we are and what we are and what God uh, has really made of us. Uh, praise God. Uh, based on the, based on, based on how we allow the world uh, to define us. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, you come across people who don't even know you <laughs> and they want to talk to you about you. <laughs> praise be the name of the Lord. Uh, they haven't got a clue about who you are, but they want to tell you, I know him, I know her very well. <laughs> praise be the name of the Almighty God. Uh, I submit to you, my brothers and my sisters, uh, that all that you are and all that you are going to be <laughs> has been established in Christ Jesus. <laughs> Praise God. You are a complete child of the living God. There's nothing about you right now which God forgot about you. There's nothing about you right now which God forgot to be able to put in place as far as your life, destiny, and purpose is concerned. Uh, I was talking to my, uh, I was talking to my, I was having a time with my children yesterday, and we just got on talking. Uh, and then one of them said to me, uh, you know, uh, Dad, uh, how is it possible that a man can leave this world without committing any sin? <laughs> Praise God. I said, well, the fact is, uh, that shouldn't be your problem. Uh, that is Jesus' problem. Uh, Jesus had already taken care of sin. Uh, praise God. I said, but it's, it's difficult. I say it is not. I understand what you're saying because it, there, maybe there's something you are dealing with uh, which you know that is a sin. I say, you see, the fact that you know is a sin is a good thing. Uh, praise God. That means you are that means you are conscious of it. Uh, there is a remorse in your spirit uh, that this is not good. Uh, I say, so what you need to do uh, is to begin to is to fix your eyes on Jesus. Please get Hebrews chapter 12. You know, uh, you know, uh, fix your eyes on Christ Jesus. Uh, Bible says that, you know, he's the author and the finisher of our faith. I said, the more you keep looking at Jesus, uh, gradually you become like him. Your character begins to change. Uh, so long that you face your gaze on him, uh, gradually you become whom God uh, had originally made you to be. Praise be the name of the almighty God. Uh, Hebrews chapter 12, 2 and 3. Uh, the Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down, uh, he sat down at the right hand of the of the throne of God. Next verse, quickly. Uh, for, 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 for consider him that that endures such contradictions of sinners against himself. Did you see that? Jesus put the sin of myself and you upon himself. Praise be the name of the Almighty God. You see, the greatest problem, my brothers and my sisters, uh, you know, in the church today uh, is not sin. That is not the greatest problem. The greatest problem in the church today is false teachings. Praise be the name of the Almighty God. It is false teaching, deceitful teaching, manipulation kind of teachings, trying to own everybody's mind in your little box and begin to want to control them and tell them where and how to where and how to move. That is my daughter, that is my son, and all those kind of things. Praise be the name of the Almighty God. That is the greatest problem in the church today. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Making people to believe what they shouldn't believe are we together here. Child of God, you could be wrapped up in falsehood and begin to live a falseful life without knowing it. Are you hearing me? You could be living a lie. You could be living a lie. Oh God, help me Lord. Help me Lord. That is the reason why I personally, uh, I just stick to Jesus. I don't look at anything else. Leave me with Christ. Praise be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. When you look at our Bible reading today, verse 13 and 16, Paul was very zealous in the Jewish religious in the, in the Jewish religious practice. He was very zealous. Matter of fact, you know, he was killing Christians because that was what he knew. That was, that was what he knew. He thought that was the right thing to do. Praise God. And he was doing, he was doing it zealously. Praise be the name of the Almighty God. Even when Stephen was being stoned to death. Stephen was being stoned to death. Do you know that Paul, you know, uh, held the coat of the people that were stoning Stephen? He said, no, no I'll, I'll hold your coat for you so you can have the free hand to stone him properly. Praise God. He was an accomplice. Uh, 
are we together here? Verse 16 and 17, make us understand that. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Galatians 2, verse 1, please. Thank you, Father. The Bible says, then, then 14 years after, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas and took titles with me. Now, listen. Now, uh, Paul the Apostle had been preaching the gospel for 14 years without human validation. He has been preaching the gospel for 14 years without any kind of endorsement. Praise God. So for 14 years, Paul was preaching Christ, which was the message that God gave to him. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Galatians 1 verse 8. Paul, you know, Paul wasn't, Paul wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't preaching because of financial gain. No, he was doing that because his primary objective and the passion was the fact that I want to preach Jesus. Praise God. There are pastors today if you don't give, if you don't give them an honorarium, they're, they're not coming to preach. If you don't give them money, they're not coming to preach. If you, don't, if, if you call them, please, I have a program. I would like you to come and preach. They will say, well, speak to my secretary. She will tell you what I take on Sunday. She will tell you what I take on weekdays. Praise God. God have mercy. Bible says, make no merchandise of the gospel. Praise be the name of the Lord. If you are invited to preach, go there preach. Whatever they give you, praise be the name of the Lord. That it should not be based on how much you're going to get before you can then preach. If I have to give you money to charge you to preach and then you say, oh, maybe it's okay, well, uh, you know, I, I, I take a uh, thousand pounds or two thousand pounds, don't worry, I'll give you three thousand pounds. Then you're going to come with so much energy because you know good money is coming. And when you do that, I can control your preaching. Maybe in the middle of your preaching, I send a note, I say, sorry, we're not going to pay three thousand, we're going to pay two two hundred. Then your countenance changed the anointing is out of the window. Praise be the name of the Almighty God. Thank you, Holy Ghost.